was the last time you saw anyone trespassing anywhere near here? And no, the rats don't count. And that little toy lock on my sister's diary kept it real safe too, as far as she ever knew. It makes no sense, amigo. The whole point of a secret cave is that it's secret. Nobody knows about it. We're guarding a place that nobody knows about. It's a secret cave. You think other secret caves around the world don't have people guarding them? They're secret exactly because they're guarded. Nobody can get into them. If anybody could walk in, it wouldn't be a secret cave. It would be a public space. This is a secret cave. Bien, bien, but don't you think there's something more useful we could be doing? The odds of someone coming down here are pretty low. Now, I'm starting to get the impression that you don't get trusted with secrets very often. You could set up a camera by the entrances and give everyone an app to keep an eye on it. Doesn't that seem a lot more efficient to you? It's the whole fucking point of the thing, man. If someone finds their way in, they don't find their way out. You think something stays secret just because no one thinks to look for it? People will get more curious about this place if they see us. Then what do we do? Look, what do you want? It's nice and cool in here, and normally pretty damn quiet. Why don't you try and make the best of it? What if this is just a job where they put the fuck-ups? You know, because it's so low risk. I mean, I don't think I am a fuck-up, but you might be. You got somewhere better to be? Those damn rats freak me out. Seriously, man. They're saying shit. Can you hear them? They're whispering with their nasty little voices. Stop it, okay? I don't want to hear more about those damn rats. Cockroaches, that's another matter. Huh? Just talking about those little shifty fuckers make the hairs on my arm stand up. That one was huge. Hey, it was like a fucking brick shit house. No, that's not right. There's some kind of paranormal shit going on here. I I'm seeing shit that's not supposed to be happening. What rats? Are you high? I killed them all yesterday. Ah, so maybe one or two survive, it doesn't matter. Stop being such a fucking pendejo and count the damn money. Oh, seriously, man, how can the rats survive down here? Hey, you... You think they've been nibbling at this stash? Getting all wired up? Hey, they're getting ready to attack us! Listen, are you self-medicating or drogado or something? Forget about the rats, we have a job to do. I'll get some of the local guys to come around and flush them out, okay? Oh, man! Viste eso? Hey, that one, that one, you see it? Yeah, he was wearing a damn poncho or something. I, I guess it was the rat ringleader. I don't know, man. I don't know anymore. My eyes are not what they used to be. And these freaking rats are driving me right up the wall. What's the matter with you? Me valen culo about your stupid rodents. Let's just count the damn money and go chase some young ladies and beat the shit out of the local villagers. ¿Qué le parece? Wow, this really annoys you, don't it? But you get used to it. I tend to relieve myself before I go to work. Or I use a corner somewhere. Hell, no one notices. There's never even been any paper. Last time I asked for some, your compañero just handed me a gas receipt. Hey, what are you complaining about? This is an upgrade. You weren't even here when we all had to use the hole. I'm just saying it's gotta be breaking some kind of workplace code. If the condition of the toilet bugs you that much, maybe you should just hold it. Do you know the kinds of diseases you can get from facilities like this? Do you think that the boss will be happy when the entire workforce is shitting themselves to death from cholera or something? If that's the biggest thing you gotta worry about, yo, I'm pretty damn jealous right now. Oh yeah, but it's absurdo. We've got 30 men down here and there is only one toilet. That's a lot of usage for one toilet. Seriously, it's disgusting. We had better facilities when I was working a job in the Congo. But you have to agree. Our transportation network's pretty awesome. I mean, it's fucking huge. That doesn't worry you at all? We don't even know half the shit the cartel gets into. Okay, so maybe it's not just the drugs, but that's how you run a business, right? 
It's called diversification. Hey, I wouldn't have any problems if we were just getting a bunch of rich Americans their fix. I know those people. I grew up there. But you hear shit around here. You can't just stick your head in the sand and hope it goes away. Yeah, yeah. Don't overthink it. We make things. We move things. Don't stress about the little details. Yeah, drugs are one thing. I know kids just want to have fun, but I hear rumors that it's also other things that are being transported. I have a real moral code, and I don't like where this could be going. It's a bit late to be having a moral crisis, isn't it? So it really doesn't bother you? Knowing we might be party to some shit we didn't even sign up for? Gee, that must be nice. We can get anything we want to anyone we want. It's impressive. I love knowing I'm part of something that big and significant. If it was really just the drugs, where would the rumors be coming from? No one around here looks that bored. So you finally installed the limiter on the engine? About time, if you ask me. I can't believe it broke the hoist. Yeah, wasn't exactly happy to poke around that beast after what happened to the chief engineer. But it's installed now. The only way to crank the engine up that high again is to remove the limiter. <laughs> and nobody will be foolish enough to do that. That Delgado guy really likes his toys to go fast, doesn't he? Parece que si. I guess it. Man, I wish Del... I guess it. Man, I wish Delgado would just calm down a little. Did you see him sneaking around down here earlier? Well, the sub-project's obviously important to him. What did he want? I'm not sure. Guess he just wants to see the sub running. He told me to make sure we radio him the second it's ready for inspection. Best make sure we do that, then. Did you know Franco sampled his own goods? Si, sí, claro. He's got this crazy sense of taste, so he samples everything before sending it out. He's more accurate than any machines we've got here. What? That's impossible. You'd be surprised. Once, one of the workers had been cutting the product with baking soda. Tiny amounts, pequeñitos, just to get a few grams for himself here and there. Franco tested it immediately. He's a human purity test kit. So that's how he nails the recipes every time? Through taste? Yeah, exactly. It's just kind of a shame, don't you think? They're so sweet looking. I know, I know. Look, try not to get fixated on it. You'll just stress yourself out more. But you know... It's muy extraño. I really find this cute. I could give one of these to my granddaughter. But no way is she gonna try cocaina. I would send her off to her uncle's hog farm if I catch her. You just have to trust that no one will be too careless with them, right? Lots of workers have to say the same thing about the shit they make. You know how many kids die just because of plastic bags? Some kids never get to have peluches of their own. And here we are making this. It just seems like such a waste to me. Those little bastards are cute as hell, and I do worry about them. I think I would have really liked to work in a toy factory. Some things just aren't meant to be. I can't say I disagree. Did I ever tell you that whenever I used to go to visit my mama, I'd always bring a gift back to my son? I swear to God, the instant I came through the door, Miguel would be trying to get into my bags to find whatever it was. He nearly ate some jabón he thought it was candy. Can't you... Can't you even imagine what could happen if just one of these got misplaced somewhere? Gotta put food on the table, though. What can you do? It's just kind of a shame, don't you think? They're so sweet looking. That's what I like about you. You have your morals in place. And these little bastards are cute as hell. But you know something? When I got recruited over here, I thought it would be safety first. I mean, when I was making E back in the late 80s in, like, a rotting farmhouse, it was a lot safer. I find it really weird that this is so backwards. Like, why is there no ventilation in here? Por el amor de Dios, will you stop whining? Ugh! Just tell me, when was the last time we had a safety drill? Don't worry about that. Just do what you're told. Believe me. Ventilation and safety regulations are the last things you'll be worrying about if you make too much of a fuss about this. 
I'm not saying we need to be in a state-of-the-art lab setup or anything, but a few intake and exhaust fans certainly wouldn't be out of place. Forget the chemicals. Working down here means your life is fucked either way. I don't understand why you're all acting like I want to turn this place into a carnival. I just think it could be a little safer. I'm looking out for you as much as for myself. You remind me of my friend. He was really set on improving the work conditions here. He was a bit crazy. It's a shame what happened to him. Just add some makeshift fume hoods. What's so hard about that? I've seen a lot of bad shit happen to people like you down here. It's nothing to do with the chemicals. I'm telling you, these rats are huge. Huge like a fucking James Herbert novel. Scary stuff. Yeah, I've been a mercenary in various wars, and I've seen what rats can do. And I've also seen the freaking rats on the New York subway. They freak me out. Come on, it was just a rat. Let's not go overboard here. I agree, it was unusually big. But that thing bleeds if you light it up. I promise you that much. These rats are killer. I'm telling you, they get you and you're done. Even if they just scratch your skin, you'll die from hepatitis, or the plague, or become a Red Sox fan or something. Even this shit is poisonous. You know, it could have been a perro. Yeah, maybe it was just that damn dog, one of those old scruffy-looking strays that eat out of the trash cans, you know? The way they move, their evil, shifty eyes, their nasty little teeth. I hate everything about rats. How the hell did it even grow to be that big? It's not like it's a New York sewer rat. God, it's against nature or something. To be honest, I see that damn rat again, I'm putting a fucking bullet in its ass. So I don't have to listen to you yapping on and on about it. Listen, you don't get the evolution of the rat, or the intelligence of those beasts. Especially the New York rats, man, they are clever as shit, amigo. They can adapt. They are like the mammal version of the cockroach. You should respect them, my friend. I ain't afraid of no rat no matter how big the damn thing is. I once choked the life out of a big-ass anaconda with my bare hands. Shit. Rats don't scare me. All I'm saying is that I get confused by the way Delgado's always trying to cut corners on safety. I duct tape. Holy de rabia, hombre! That thing's a catastrophe waiting to happen! Yeah, well, you're always bitching about safety. This is a man's job. Get over it. Listen, I've known Delgado a long time, and he's a nice guy, but sometimes... Let's just say it's not the first time people get hurt because of his recklessness. That thing falls out on you, and maybe you're finished being a Sabio Salomon. Maybe you'll fall down. Maybe you won't. Who the hell knows? Ah, oh, come on. This is insane. We've got a 50 million dollar submarine. And the hoist is held together by goddamn duct tape? Honestly, you always think the whole world is going to come crashing down on you. You know, I want to save a buck as much as the next guy. I get that. But you can't fasten a goddamn submarine with duct tape. It's just stupid, man. I'm sure Delgado knows what he's doing. Let's not freak out about a little duct tape, huh? I use duct tape all the time. My car wouldn't be running anywhere if it wasn't for the goddamn duct tape. Okay, okay. What about some kind of slide system? If you turn all that talking energy into hauling energy, it wouldn't even be an issue. Thousands of years ago, we were moving huge stone blocks around on our own. And you're really going to tell me technology hasn't advanced significantly since then? The louder the operation down here, the less secret it is. At some point, it wouldn't even be worth the hiding anymore. We might as well just transport it in the middle of a damn parade. Oh, dogs. We could use dogs, couldn't we? Just give them a little sled or some dog-side backpacks. I'll train them. On the road. Yeah, but at least you're not using wheelbarrows, like the old days. Yeah, but seriously, it's really hard work, pushing that cart. 
Why don't we just have something mechanical? This is the 21st century, isn't it? Yeah, well, you know where the suggestion box is. No, no, hear me out, man. All we need is something with a motor on it. It will make this whole process so much quicker. Your apps are gonna be great. Ah, up and about again. Good. Listen, Rico really wants to see the sub running. When you're ready to do the demo for him, let me know. I'll call him down here. Eden! Oh! So, the engine limiter has been reinstalled and fitted as requested. We don't want a repeat of your accident, verdad? Right. That would be terrible. Thanks for the tip. Mateo, it's nice to have you back, hombre. Hey, how's the arm? All right? Bien. Well, well, look who's back. Look who's back. Arm feeling better? Great, great. Good to see you back here, Mateo. Back to complete your work despite that injury, huh? Nice. You don't look too bad. Arm okay? Bueno. Finally back, eh? Good man. Oh, nice, you're back. Delgado will be pleased. I'm ready for the demo. Can you call Rico, please? Okay, amigo. I'll get right to it. Hey, Fate, it's me. I'm in the caves. The sub's ready for the demo. Come on down, man. It's looking beautiful. 